हाय गाइस वेलकम टू कोड आर्टिजन लैब दिस इज वीडियो नंबर 79 फॉर मल्टी वेंडर ईकॉमर्स वेबसाइट इन जेंगो विद रिएक्ट जीएस इन दिस वीडियो वी विल वर्क ऑन द रिपोर्ट सेक्शन इन आवर प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव सीन दैट हाउ वी कैन क्रिएट द डेली रिपोर्ट राइट हाउ मेनी डेली ऑर्डर्स फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर वेंडर इज कमिंग सो वी हैव वी आर शोइंग इन दिस वी आर शोइंग दिस रिपोर्ट इन अ एपिक्स बार चार्ट राइट सो लेट्स ओपन दैट आल्सो apex chart <clears throat> right so this is open source and we can use this now what we are doing uh, what we are going to do in this video we will create a monthly and yearly report right so when we click on this it will show monthly when we click on this it will show yearly as it's the title is saying so let's create that so first of all what i will do let's go to because we have already created the uh, daily reports so it is very easy to create the monthly and the yearly right so what i am going to do here i have created two functions this is the same fun uh, we will copy this function and create a same function show chart monthly orders right the change is here we will fetch the month data right so we are fetching and same we are doing in the yearly right and then we have created these two things in the model right now these two things we will pass in the vendor detail serializer right so so that when we uh, fetch the data it will show these three charts right so when we when i go to this uh, a daily report then here you can see that in the use effect i'm saying fetch daily orders so let's see, uh, let's say um, fetch we will say fetch specific function fetch report right so we will say here fetch report right uh, the function is great and set dates uh, orders daily orders okay correct everything is fine now i will copy this i hope we have created the monthly report no we didn't create that so let's copy this and paste it here and uh, save and we'll say monthly report dot js and the same thing we will create for the yearly right but let's change first so this will be monthly right so here monthly and then we have here monthly orders right sorry for the function this uh, let's let me keep silent my phone okay now this thing this because everything else is same now let's create um, why we are saying this series one let's say orders right and same thing we'll do in the here in the daily report right so let's copy this paste here and say yearly report dot js and in the yearly we'll change the function name yearly report right in here and fetch reports and let's say yearly right everything else should not be changed okay uh, what is this daily report we'll say yearly report and here we will say monthly report right so we have everything okay now we need to register this component in our main app so app.js and where we have a daily report here okay so copy this paste paste and we'll say here monthly yearly right then we have here daily and here we will say monthly
yearly monthly report and then yearly report right okay now let's go to reports reports and here we have a daily monthly let's copy this link and paste it here and say monthly and also here right say yearly okay so let's go to reports monthly yearly we have two orders in why the monthly is not showing properly let's see network tab this this okay a response show monthly order states data should do so what we are doing wrong in the monthly report show chart monthly orders show chart monthly orders uh, monthly report what we are doing wrong here something is wrong let's see is undefined show chart monthly orders so let's go here show chart monthly orders and uh, month okay and let's go to serializer yes everything seems fine then what is the issue uh, product vendor order order time month order order time month id count date it should show the data uh, here data dot show chart monthly orders show chart monthly orders data or show chart monthly orders is undefined okay in the monthly report this is this is saying undefined mm -hmm. let's console the data and see what it is returning okay let's console this uh, show chart this one show chart daily order show chart monthly oh we don't have l in the l in the models uh, monthly correct in the serializer we have right uh yes correct so now we have report for all the sections daily monthly how many monthly reports uh one more thing in the monthly we need to show the we need to show the month name right so how we can show the month name let's see month name from number in javascript right so we will say how to get month name from the date get month name on, from a number and vice versa so let's what we will do S new day date dot set month okay let's copy this function create this uh, create this function in the monthly report right and uh, use this so we'll say get month name okay so get month name where is that actually 
mm, set data let's remove this let's remove this and let's see in the model so we are seeing here month right so let's do this with the get month name from number in python right so get month name from a number in python okay so this one okay my date no calendar dot month will return three calendar api import date time this one let's do this one okay so are we importing the date time no so let's import the date time this is default you know package for the python and let's go for monthly orders and uh, here so so what is so month integer is our this one right and we should include this month here right so okay let's see right october okay so some copy paste work is also needed right so we have completed our report section now in the next video we will work on the profile and then change password and then we will work on home page because we have completed then we will see that how uh, we can modify the header so it will look great and we need to work on single product because here the slider is working but i want to show uh, four uh, uh, product at the same time right everything seems working right but uh, the main thing is we need to do final touch and one more important thing i also want to give a, a vendor review section so please suggest me where should i do this so i'm i'm asking in the context of design so where should i put the a review section in this uh, dashboard right in the vendor dashboard okay so in the next video we will work on the profile page right thank you so much for watching the video let's meet in the next video and please share subscribe like this channel and if you need the source code of this project very important if you need the source code of this project then you can just simply go to github.com slash artisan lab and here the support section is here this is very important yes <clears throat> okay so multi vendor e-commerce website in django important when i'm saying important just uh, this is a uh, you know not very important but yes okay so <clears throat> uh yes so you can just follow this process right and uh this is very big support for me right so i will provide the access of the source code right uh, how many videos we have uploaded so total videos are 79 okay so let's do 79 all right coming changes i will sync the changes with my local repo all right Okay, thank you. Thank you very much for watching the video. Let's meet in the next video.